Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would make a fun video kind of going over my Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale top picks for what I recommend picking up mostly in body care and a few candles. So the semi-annual sale is just under two weeks away. This is my favorite time of the year and I am ready for it. So it is sneaking up on us. It'll be here just around the corner. If you guys are new, I did film an entire SAS video kind of breaking down some of the items that are going to be on sale, some new stuff coming for the sale and what to expect. So if you're kind of a newer SAS shopper, definitely check that out. But I'm just going to be sharing my top recommendations of what I would get during the sale. Now this is basically based on speculation, but I can almost guarantee all the stuff featured is going to be a part of SAS because usually for their summer sale, they always clearance their spring releases and their summer releases. Some stuff is 75%, usually spring, summer releases usually start at 50 around there. I'm also really excited because I got two of the new scents that are coming for this sale a little bit early to share my thoughts on. These were definitely the two that I really wanted the most. There's also like a cinnamon donut one that's also coming my stores did not have that one yet as well as cotton candy clouds in this collection so let me just go over my thoughts on these two scents first right away so this is kind of a first impressions i have worn them throughout the day one on each arm and uh, I feel like since these are kind of scents that start out on a sale, they're never really full price since these are coming out June 13, the first of the sale, and they will be discounted that day. Most likely only 50% off. These are made for sale scents. I feel like the scent power on these isn't super, super strong, but I'm still really happy with them. So let me give you guys my thoughts here. So let's start with the pink bubblegum pop. I feel like the spray is super powerful at first, but once it kind of dries down, it does fade a little bit throughout the day. But I am really happy with this scent. Um, I was really hoping it would be just like the pink bubblegum candle in the pocket back, and I think it's as close as it's going to get personally. It might be slightly fruitier than the two, but it just smells just like pink double bubble bubblegum to me. It smells so good. You even get the little powdery sugar essence on the outside of it. But I'm really pleased with this one. The notes are gumball sugar, candied fruits, and citrus burst. I was a little bit nervous that it would be a repackage, but it's a totally new body care fragrance to Bath & Body Works. And if you guys love that bubblegum pocket back that came out this year and the pink bubblegum candle. Let's see, I have mine over here. If you guys remember this from back in the day, it's super close. But I'm really loving this one. I feel like it dries down really sweet bubblegummy as well and I think it's gonna be a really big hit for the sale now I don't know if this is coming in all forms I heard that this collection is kind of all over the place it definitely has fragrance mist though so far in the pictures I've seen I only see a mist and a shower gel which really sucks because if we did have that lotion we could definitely make this scent a little bit stronger Maybe they'll come out with it again another time but yeah so far I only see the mist and shower gel but this smells so good. I'm really happy with this spray. It smells just like bubble gum and it's everything I could have wanted from this fragrance. Okay, next up we have the Orange Vanilla Twist. Also very excited for this one. I love like orange creamsicle kind of scents and I love it in ice cream bars. That's like my favorite thing. The notes are Juicy Orange, Summer Sherbet, and Vanilla Cream. I'll tell you, I smelled this one after the pink bubble gum when I first bought it and I wasn't really sure how to feel. At first, I feel like I couldn't smell anything, so I sprayed it, and I was like, I'm not sure what I'm getting here, so now I'm kind of liking it a bit more as I've gotten used to it throughout the day and used it a bit more, and it definitely is on the lighter side, though. The orange comes out right up front, um, but it fades quickly into more of a vanilla cream. It actually does remind me of an ice cream cone. Like, I somehow get ice cream cone on the dry down even though it's not in the notes but yeah I was expecting it to be a little bit more prominent when I sprayed it at first kind of like how the bubblegum one is that one seems strong at first this one was just very light already but it smells gorgeous on the dry down like if you like creamy vanillas I think you'll really like this scent it's not too citrusy I don't know if this is a repackage of like snowy citrus swirl I've never had that one in my collection but I do think this one is really nice and I am liking it as it dries down. It dries down to that really yummy vanilla cone, kind of like how the packaging is, but 
I just don't get much orange in it for some reason. Now this one looks like it's just coming in lotion and spray. I'll definitely be grabbing the lotion though. So hopefully kind of make this even stronger. But it seems a little light initially, but I mean, both scents are really good. I would definitely buy them on this sale, especially if you love those sweet kind of scents, especially the bubblegum one. I think that one is so much fun. So now into the other scents that are definitely part of the sale that I would recommend picking up. Um, let's just start with Cotton Candy Clouds. I don't have the packaging of that one, but that one is coming back. It has super cute packaging this year for the sale. Um, it's basically a dupe of Whipped Berry Meringue and also Boardwalk Taffy. I just grabbed my Whipped Berry Meringue because that's what I had available. This is also going to be at semi-annual sale, most likely 75% off. So if you want to save a buck at first, just go ahead and grab Whipberry Meringue because you'll get this one cheaper than you'll get Cotton Candy Clouds because Cotton Candy Clouds is probably 50% off. But all three of those scents in general just have a really nice, sweet, spun sugar kind of scent to them and they're all delicious, but I definitely want to get that new Cotton Candy Clouds packaging that's coming out. The next scent I'm going to definitely recommend picking up is Sunset Glow. I feel like a lot of people really love this one. It's coming back for the sale. I'm assuming the price on this is going to be around $4.95. It should be on the front table with all the returning favorites for the sale. This one has notes of fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. This is just so pretty. It is very sweet, but it's a perfect summer scent. I do get cherry. I get vanilla in here. I get a little bit of a seltzer note, so it is a little bit sparkling. It is just so all around beautiful. I'm also going to recommend the Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. So this is a repackage of Confetti Cake Pop. This is a really good one if you guys like just cake batter. Cake batter scent, that is what this is. Some people don't like this because it has almost a buttery kind of note to it, but that's why it reminds me of like the batter before it's cooked. But it is so good to me. I love this one. It's very warm, cozy. I just love smelling like a cookie. So I'm all about this. It has notes of creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. This one will most likely be half off at the beginning of the sale. I could see this one selling out for sure. Another one from the summer collection. I had to give a shout out to Beach Nights. Now this is very polarizing it seems. Some people think it smells like nothing. I personally, I think it's strong to me. I don't know what other people are getting. I don't know if it's because I'm just used to the scent like I've worn this scent for many years and that's just like I knew what to expect from it but I love beach nights I think it's gorgeous this one has notes of toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze s'mores accord beach driftwood and creamy vanilla I don't know it might be like the salt mixed with the vanilla that kind of throws people off and it feels like they can't smell it but to me, it's strong. Like, when I wear this with the body cream, I can smell it on me all day. So I don't really know if there's, like, a batch issue or if I'm just used to the scent in general. But I love it. If you guys want a sort of kind of by the ocean breeze kind of vanilla, it's really nice. I love this one. Mm, definitely picking up a backup for sure. Sure. This next one is another sweet fragrance. This one is Pastel Skies. I love this one. This one came out for spring, so this one should be 75% off. It has notes of soft cloud berries, pink spun sugar, and coconut musk, so kind of similar notes to like Boardwalk Taffy, the Whipped Berry Meringue, but this one has more berries in it, um, not much of a spun sugar. It has a toasted coconut kind of background note as well. It's just very sweet, very fruity, and delicious. So Pastel Skies is one of my favorites this year. Now I heard Gingham Heart of Gold is actually leaving during this sale. I'm not surprised since it is just a rendition of the original Gingham, but I actually really like this one, so I would recommend picking this one up. It has notes of crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. This one is so pretty. I love the sweetness in this. It's so much better to me than the original gingham, especially if you are a gourmand lover because it has more of the vanilla, kind of almost caramely. And you do get a hint of a crisp apple in there as well, but it is stunning on the skin. It's actually kind of similar if you guys like Juicy Couture Gold. It's actually kind of similar to that, which is really crazy. Sometimes Bath & Body Works does really good like perfume dupes in body spray form. But yeah. This one should be leaving, so I would recommend snagging that before it's gone for good. I don't know if they would bring that one back, to be honest. 
I also really love the Copper Coconut Sands this year, throwing in something a little different. This is my favorite tropical scent. I'm not usually big on the tropical collections. This is one of the best coconuts I've smelled from Bath & Body Works because it's like this sexy coconut. I don't know. Something about it, it's just I could wear this and feel like I'm wearing a perfume on a night out. It's not too sweet coconut, anything like that. The notes are sun-kissed coconut, soft orchid petals, and creamy sandalwood. So the sandalwood gives it like that delicious richness. But this is probably the closest thing to Oahu Coconut Sunset, which I really liked from Bath & Body Works. They haven't brought that one back in stores for a while. It's on the retired fragrances, so sometimes you can get it. But yeah, I just, I think this is one of the best well-done coconuts from them. Also, Midsummer Dream. This one came out again for summer, so this one will probably be about half off. But this is such a pretty summer scent. It's like my go-to. It's like a light, airy fragrance. Perfect for summertime. It's so fruity. I just love this. It's salted pear, fresh nectarine, and seaside lily. Definitely aquatic, definitely fruity. This is like the go-to for summer. I am going to recommend berry waffle comb, but I'm only going to recommend this in the cream, lotion, or shower gel. I don't like it in the spray because it's a bit much. This is a very sweet scent, but I love it in the body cream. So I want to pick up another one of these. Now this is an online exclusive, so you'll have to get this one on the website if you want it. It'll probably be 50% off, so I need to get, get another one of these. Uh, the notes are sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. Just expect this to be super, super sweet. It smells like Captain Crunchberry cereal. It is so good though. I need to find a good perfume to pair this with since I don't love the mist, but I love, love, love that body cream so much. Next is Firecracker Pop. This has become a classic now for summer. It just came out last year, but now I feel like I have to have it every single summer. I wear it all like June, all July. Um, since it does remind me of the 4th of July, obviously, with the packaging. But this is such a good one because, again, it has that lighter essence to it where it's just, like, light breezy. It has, like, a lime in there. It's like a popsicle, basically, but... Oh, uh, it's so good. It has red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berries. So red, white, and blue scent notes, packaging, just like bomb pops. I get a lot of lime in here and cherry. I know this is a fan favorite. Some stores have already like been selling out of this already, which is crazy to me. A new one this year that I think is pretty good is Pink Watermelon Blast. And this one is like the best done watermelon they've done. They did Pink Watermelon last year and it was okay, but this is like a true like yummy Jolly Rancher watermelon. It's very similar to the Pink Watermelon Candle actually. So it's very juicy, very sweet, very candy-like. I really like this one. It has notes of juicy pink watermelon sugared strawberry blossoms and lime zest sometimes on me though if i've been outside like sweating it can smell a little little off on me but i i still love just like spraying it i think it smells so good i can't stop spraying it that's why i've, I've already used quite a bit of it but sometimes like in the really hot summer months it can just smell a little off putting on my skin i don't know if it doesn't mix well with my body chemistry but I still really like spraying it and stuff, and I think it's a good scent. If you guys like fresh aquatic scents, I'm going to recommend Saltwater Breeze. This one's probably going to be 75% off. It has notes of fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. But I really love this one for summer. It's just something different. It's almost like fresh linen, but also very beachy. Like, I get salty ocean waves in here. Very airy. The laundry kind of scent. I, not, I know not everyone loves this, but... You definitely have to like more of those laundry type scents or wearing them um, and aquatic scents to enjoy this one, but I think it's great. I absolutely love it. Next up is Peach Prosecco Macaron. I know not everyone loves peach scents, so you definitely have to be a peach lover for this, and I am a peach lover. This is one of my favorite peaches from Bath & Body Works. It has notes of peach prosecco, vanilla cream, and macaron cookie. This one should be 75% off. This whole collection should be so good you guys it's a true juicy peach um but it has that delicious macaron cookie background that makes it so yummy it's very strong in my opinion people say it smells like peach rings 
it's so good definitely the best peach from bath and body works if you guys like sweet peach now this is another online exclusive but if you are shopping online i'm gonna go ahead and recommend you pick up coconut cream pie this one on the website is probably going to be half off the first day. Uh, in, if it was in store, it would be 75%, but the website sometimes only does 50% off the first day of the sale. But coconut cream pie is one of my all-time favorites. It has notes of toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. This is absolutely delicious. It's so caramely. Mm, you don't get much coconut, but... This is definitely edible. It's one of my favorite gourmand top five ever since Bath & Byers has done. I'm obsessed with it. So please go get you some if you don't have this yet. And then lastly, I personally do not know if this collection is going to be part of the sale. So I'm going to mention it real quick anyway, just in case it is, or if you guys just want to pick it up anyway. But I haven't heard if this is like something that's staying for a while or if it is limited, if it's going to be going. I think it could be an all year round kind of collection, but it's possible it will leave for a semi-annual sale. Fresh coconut and cotton. This one has notes of coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. Ugh, this one really surprised me this year. I never thought I would like this, but I think I like this even better than white t-shirt, which I'm also going to recommend white t-shirt, but this has such a pretty sweetness to it. It's like fresh laundry, but you use like a coconut scented dryer sheet or something like that. It's so pretty though. It has a little sweetness to it. I absolutely love it. And then white t-shirt. This is going to be your classic laundry scent, but it also has this kind of perfume, almost sophisticated note in there that I think makes it very wearable. So the notes are crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. This is super fresh and clean. Not everyone really likes to wear that as a scent on the body. You could buy like one for a little room spray. I think they even make a room spray in white t-shirt as well, but I personally love this when I just want to be fresh and clean for the day. I think it's so good. So I don't know if that one will be on sale, but I'm just going to guess that it is. I don't know though. So that is the body care. I just grabbed a few candles. I don't have a ton to talk about, but I just wanted to give you guys like my all time favorites. If you guys see these candles, they're probably going to be about half off or so. If you can find any 75% of candles, definitely snatch them up. But uh, these will probably be 50%. Um, first up, Pink Petal Tea Cake. Definitely get this. I've been burning mine that I saved for years because I just didn't know if it would come back and it is coming back for the sale. So the new one will have different packaging, but I definitely recommend getting at least one of these to try out. Maybe grab two. I feel like everyone is grabbing so much of this. Like, I don't even know if it's going to be available um, after the first day because this is a coveted scent, you guys. It's so strong. This is a cakey rose scent, which sounds weird. I usually don't like florals, but this is super sweet to me. This has notes of pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. I absolutely love it. If you guys liked the whipped rose latte mist from last Christmas, you will love this in the candle. It's so good. If you guys can find wildberry jam donut, this is one of my favorite go-to spring and summer candles. It's so strong and so delicious. It smells like a yummy kind of berry pie almost. It has notes of sweet wild berry jam, powdered donut, brown sugar crumble. I think this scent is sold out at a lot of stores, but if you find it, snatch it up. Lavender marshmallow. This has notes of fluffy marshmallow, touch of lavender, and fresh vanilla bean. It's so pretty, you guys. This one was gone for quite a while and recently came back this year. If you go to maybe a less crowded Bath & Body Works, you may be able to still find some of these. This one, again, is like a floral mixed with a gourmand. I seem to like that trend. <laughs> I think it's delicious. If you guys like lavender, like a sugared lavender, definitely try. This one has also been a huge hit this spring. This is Iced Lemon Pound Cake, and this smells pretty much edible. It smells just like an iced lemon cake like you get from Starbucks. It is so good. Oh, I could smell this all day. It has notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, and whipped cream. I just wanted to mention one more real quick. I had to mention pink watermelon in the candle. This one is so strong, so delicious. That juicy watermelon, similar to the body care I shared. Uh, I think the new one has different packaging, though. This one has juicy pink watermelon, sugared strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. 
so I think that's all I'm gonna mention today just some of my favorites that I would recommend for the sale if you guys are shopping and I really wanted to share those new scents so I thought this would be a fun video to do let me know if you will be picking these up what your favorite scents are what are your like must have stock up scents for the sale I'm so curious to know I try not to stock up too much I like to have a backup here and there of like my favorite scents but I try not to have more than one backup because I know myself and I'm always buying the new collections so I know there's always going to be like new stuff coming that I might love even more down the road so I try not to have too many backups in place but that's gonna be it for this video thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys